Hey, it's Farmall Fanatic. Today I'm going to tell you a story about a tree that's been a real pain in my ass for, I don't know, about 10 years now. Uh, behind my property, there's a stream, and it erodes bank, as you can imagine. Now, in the old days, my grandfather and uh, great-grandfather and so forth, when the uh, stream would shift land, they would just go get a bulldozer and push it the other way. Obviously, with the EPA concerns and uh, basically government intrusions that we have to suffer these days, I can't go do that. And just like Donald Trump said, you go apply for a permit and you wait 15 years just to get told no. So anyways, this tree in particular, it was a sycamore tree and it was standing on the property and the stream had actually eroded the bank away enough to where it laid in the creek. Now, and I did say creek, that's what we use around here, not stream or creek, we say creek. Um, and it fell in and it actually made a nice fishing hole. But having said that, it also held the bank up. And what it did was it diverted the stream back away from where I wanted it. And it started to wash away a piece of the property that I didn't want it to. Well, lo and behold, we had an ice storm and ice come down the stream and knocked it out of the bank. So now it's sitting in the middle of the creek and it is needing moved. So eventually here, I'm gonna come down with my 756, obviously not today or anytime real soon, probably in the next three to four weeks though, uh, and I'm gonna to try to pull it. So I'm gonna have a little tractor pull video down here um, and uh, whatnot, but what it's doing now, it's sitting in the middle of the stream and it's going around, out and around it, and it's, and it's actually causing more erosion than it was when it was in the, the bend of the stream. And here's the tree. And it's sitting right there. And uh, actually the, uh, the bend it was sitting on is right there. You could, I don't know if you can see the, where the break is, but it was right there. And what happens is this stream comes straight down through now, PennDOT come in, Pennsylvania Department of Transportation, and up here, all along here, they put riprap because that's the highway. Uh, but they put riprap here, and it's very effective. But the riprap stops about right there. Okay, so then the stream hit here, right on the bend, and that tree was on that bend, and it bounced the stream this way. Okay. This part of the property is basically all pasture. I don't want to lose this. I want to lose this over in here. Okay, and you can see the bank now starting to erode away. But what this tree has done over the years, it's bounced the stream this way and driven it back right toward the small field. And it's eroding it that way. The goal for me, and you can see it, the, the, the stream is split around the roots. It comes this way and it goes over and goes behind it. So it's, it's actually a split. I want to take my tractor and hook to it and just pull it this way. So all the water has a much more tendency to go that way. So I can get the stream to go just like this right along parallel. Um, and, and I can gain all that land back. You know, my neighbor says, oh, you, you know, my dad always says you lose it on one side, you gain it on the other. That's easy to say for somebody that's not farming. You know, it's never an advantage to have to cross a river uh, with equipment to farm. And I just don't want to do it. So I've always had you know, envisionments that this stream was going to run straight down wash this away and then give me this land back and actually this bed right here this this creek bed right here will all be back on this side and the stream will be running that way um so that that's my goal but yeah i'm gonna have you know a video of me trying to pull this with a 756 you know some of you are gonna say well why don't you just cut it in half and see if you can pull it it may come to that but at first I want to see if I can pull it just as is. Um, 
But uh, this is where I post. I mean, I had a lot of guys that initially were fishing down here, and I put a stop to it. Uh, you know, my why I post video doesn't even, it, it does touch the tip of the glacier as to why I post, but reality is, I mean, it was terrible. You come down through here after the first day of trout season, and it was just, I mean, it looked like the dump. I mean, people throwing their litter down, disrespecting your land. Um, you know, I, 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 you find beer cans, some of them full, some of them empty. I mean, just, just stupid. So, you know, stupid games get you stupid prizes. And their prize is they can't fish here anymore. Um, now, if a, if a guy comes up and he knocks on the door or whatever, you know, I certainly would let him. You know, I mean, go down and fish. But they don't have that courtesy, and that's fine with me. I don't have the courtesy to allow them to be here. But uh, anyways, that's the story of the tree. And uh, I'll call this part one because part two is going to be trying to drag it this way and get the stream to run that way. So uh, I hope you're all having a great day. Uh, if you're watching this and you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button. It's free. It doesn't cost you a penny. Have a much better than average day. Thanks for viewing.